Hi guys, it's Shimina here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new Gucci lipstick. This is brand new from Gucci and it is the Rouge de Beauté Brillant Lipstick. This is supposed to be a glossy, hydrating, lip balm-esque lipstick, so I'm really excited to be trying it. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe, we'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado guys, here is the video. So guys, today I'm going to be trying out the brand new Gucci Rouge de Beauté Brillant Lipstick. This is brand new from Gucci. This is the Gucci answer to what everyone is doing at the moment, which is super creamy, nourishing, super shiny, glossy, natural lipstick. They had a really good shade range. I've got the shade 204 Peggy Taupe. It came in 15 shades, a really nice cherry red, an orange red, a deep kind of burgundy Bordeaux, some pink, some pinky nudes, and then lots of brownie, taupey, mauvey nudes as well. The packaging looks really, really nice. And it is 42 US dollars and 35 pounds. It is available at Gucci and Sephora and Selfridges, and I will link all of them down below. It says, Gucci Beauty presents Rouge de Beauté Brillant, a special lip color set apart by unique benefits. Serving as an in-between for a sheer and satin lipstick, this hybrid long-lasting dual action formula delivers 24 hours of moisture and a beautifully pigmented shine. Formulated with nourishing and antioxidant ingredients, the creamy texture highlights and preserves the natural beauty of the mouth. So lips look fuller and plump to perfection. Vibrant glowing color, luminous glowing finish with long lasting shine for four plus hours. Infused with luxurious and moisturizing black rose oil and peony oil, combined with jojoba seed oil and karate butter for 24 hour moisturizing effects. Hyaluronic acid provides immediate and long lasting hydration as well as a subtle lip plumping and smoothing effect. Encased within an elegant slim gold bullet, the precious outer lid is wrapped in a unique black and gold print inspired by vintage brooches. An angled design allows for easier application and glide. For a more long lasting finish, lay a Rouge de Beauté Brillante with lip liner, drawing the pencil on top of the lipstick for a more natural look or underneath for a bold impact. This is 0.06 ounces and 1.8 grams. It's got lots of great things in it. It's got black rose oil, peony oil, jojoba seed oil, and karate butter, which give a 24 hour moisturizing effect. And it says it's also got hyaluronic acid to kind of plump lips and smooth, which is great. So it's definitely got a lot of skincare in there, which is good. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the bronzer, which also had lots of skincare ingredients in it as well. And the same with the foundation as well. So that's really good. It says that for a more natural look, put a lip pencil on top of the lipstick and for a bolder impact, wear the lip liner underneath. So I'm going to try it on both ways. It actually reminds me of the Victoria Beckham Posh lipstick in Posh Pose. It is two grams and 0.07 ounces, it's 34 pounds and 38 US dollars, whereas the Gucci one is 45 US dollars and 35 pounds. They've got really similar shapes. I feel like they're a good comparison to one another. Looking at other lipsticks, I have the Pat McGrath is four grams and 0.14 ounces, so it's double the size. The Charlotte Tilbury Slim Hyaluronic Happy Kiss, which is kind of similar in the sense of it's like a moisturizing, lightweight, lip balm, glossy lipstick. That is 2.5 grams. It is 34 US dollars and 25 pounds. So definitely a lot cheaper than the Victoria Beckham and the Gucci. And it's actually bigger than both as well. I haven't actually tried that, but I have heard they are pretty good. The Gucci one seems to be the smallest one so far. So hopefully it is worth it. Hopefully it's worth the extra money and the lesser product, but we shall see. I'm just gonna get into it, guys. I'm gonna show you the packaging. So it comes in their signature black and blush pink packaging. 
which I love. I really love this packaging. It does say on the side 24 hour moisture, 24 hour hydration. So this is a bold claim from Gucci. It seems like everyone is making bold claims these days. One thing it did say in the description was four hours plus shine. So I'm going to be testing it to see how long it actually lasts, how long the shine lasts, how long the hydration lasts as well. It did have a very emollient feel when I was swatching it on my hand. It did blend out to become very, very sheer. This is the Victoria Beckham one. That's a bit more mauve -y. I do really like the Gucci packaging. I feel like it's definitely a step up from the Charlotte Tilbury and from the Victoria Beckham one as well. This one is just so luxurious. I love the little groovy bottom and I really love the gold billet on the inside. I feel like it's super luxe, super nice, and it's actually the best packaging of the three. I also really like the little lid, the Gucci on the lid as well. It is a click close. It's not as secure as the Victoria Beckham, which is like super intense. This one's a bit more of a gentle click close than the Victoria Beckham. They said that if you want a more subtle natural look, you should apply lip liner over it. And then if you want a more impactful look, then you should apply lip liner under it. So first up, I'm gonna try it on its own. Feels very moisturizing. It looks really glossy and really light. It really reminds me of that Victoria Beckham posh lipstick when I tried it on on its own and it just gave my lips a really nice wash of color. My lips definitely do feel super silky, really nourished and really moisturized. So now we're gonna add a little bit of lip liner. I'm gonna add my regular fave, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense. As you guys saw from my favorite lip liners video, this isn't that different to the MAC Chestnut. So if you do have the MAC Chestnut, they're very, very similar. So I really like this actually with the lip liner around the edges. It has changed it ever so slightly. It looks a bit more of a lipstick now. Didn't feel like it needed it, but it does look good with it too. So I'm just going to now take this off and then I'm going to reapply it with the lip liner underneath. It looks kind of like most things tend to do when I put the lip liner all over my lips, but it does have a really nice glossy sheen to it. It's really super shiny. You can really sense those kind of oils and butters in it. It feels like a really nice lip balm. It feels even more moisturizing than the Dior lip balm that I tried recently, so that's saying a lot. I'm now gonna take this off, and I'm just gonna try it with a little bit of lip liner underneath. It looks a little bit heavy with the lip liner underneath, so I personally would just leave it on its own or just have a little bit of the lip liner on top like I did before. I do really like the glossiness of this. I feel like the shine on this is really, really nice and it's super hydrating, super moisturizing. It feels really comfortable on the lips and it's got a really nice slip to it. I'm really glad I picked this shade. I'm just gonna take it off and pop it back on with the lipstick just on its own. I think it's really nice. I think it's done a really good job. It's exactly what I hoped it would be and it's actually performed better than I thought it would. It really, really reminds me of the Victoria Beckham Posh Lipstick in the shade Pose. Specifically, I feel like it's a 
really similar shade on my lips and they both look a lot better worn more naturally and a bit more fresh not with a lot of lip liner just kind of letting your natural lips shine through i also really like the fact that there is a very nice sweet delicate fruity scent but it's super subtle it's not like a usual gucci over the top floral perfumed fragrance so i really really like it i think it looks really nice i really love this bullet that is where you kind of get the glam and the luxe of from this product i'm excited to see how it wears it is 4 23 p.m hopefully the shine should be lasting for an extra four hours so hopefully at 8 30 my lips should still be shiny and glossy and apparently they will be hydrated until 4 23 tomorrow so i'm excited about that i'm an hour in i don't know if i'm gonna make it to four hours plus it's just not looking very likely so i thought i would come on just before i eat just because it looks like it's not gonna last it's now 5 20. It doesn't feel as smooth and silky as it did before and it also doesn't look as pigmented as it was. I feel like there's still a slight tint but it's definitely lost that sheeny shininess. It does still feel hydrated which is good but yeah I haven't actually done much and it has only been an hour. So guys I am back. It's only been two hours and ten minutes. But as you can probably see, my lips are back to their regular state. They are bone dry and they've also lost their tint as well. So I'm going to give you guys a quick close up. I do still really like this product, even though it doesn't really do exactly what it says. I really like the initial effect of it and I really like how it looks on my lips. I just do think this is something you're going to have to keep quite close because you will need to keep topping it up. So guys, that is it. That's my finished look. I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the Slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.